Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal D Wade. Gonna be interesting to see how good the flash is here in NBA 2K24, my team, especially how his release is on very quick. If it's really good, then he has the potential to be a top tier point guard. If it's not great, I think that might hold him back from being best of the best. I'm a little worried because I didn't love his release on his diamond, but we're gonna give it a chance. We're gonna see how good he is in this game. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscribers remark on the channel I upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if you'll do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it d wade at 6'4 shooting guard i mean at point guard isn't super tall but he does have like a 6'10 wingspan statistically he's phenomenal 90 drive 98 driving layup 97 mid-range 95 three ball 98 driving dunk 97 ball handle ridiculous defensive stats as well 99 speed to ball and excel is perfect 98 vert 97 lateral quickness 98 stamina 92 strength he's a stupidly good statistical card and badge wise he's also phenomenal fast switch posterizer agent three limitless range Handles for days, anchor challenger, clamps, glove, blow by, speed booster, right stick gripper, bulldozer, 94 feet. Like, really good looking all around card. Very complete gold badges, but unfortunately, he does not have the immovable enforcer badge, which I was kind of expecting that he would, so that's a little disappointing. Would definitely recommend adding like free points, brick wall, maybe slippery off ball. That's about it in terms of badges. Would be really nice if he got the immovable enforcer badge. Uh, and honestly, I wouldn't have minded them changing his jump shot base either, but I am definitely intrigued to see how he moves, how his dribble sigs are, and especially how the releases so really oh they gave him tray escape oh, i forgot about that that's a dub okay tray escape is my personal favorite escape in the game as good as kimba escape is tray escape in my mind is the best the release is eh, I, it's good i wouldn't say it's insane i feel like it's gonna i feel like it's gonna annoy me more in game than it does i don't know it doesn't it doesn't feel terrible but it doesn't feel like insanely good either what is his same side burst like it's, it feels kind of slow whatever his same side burst is because i feel like i'm triggering things these animations a little bit incorrectly. I don't know. Uh, his same side burst is definitely a little interesting, whatever his moving has the animation is, but there we go. Triggered that one right. Um, okay. I might have to go diagonally up with it to trigger it consistently. I'm not totally sure. Athletically, he's great, obviously, as a slasher, and I think he's got pretty good jump shot. Like, I think he's got Pro 2 Fade, um, which is also obviously a huge W. So, a lot to like. MJ Dribble Style, yes. Pro 2 Fade as well is obviously phenomenal. Yeah, no, he's a dog. I mean, he's a very good card. Standstill release. Probably could use a little bit of work, and at 6'4", it'd be nice if he had a movable enforcer, but at the same time, as a whole, he'll be a really good card. I think he's going to be SGA Moncrief tier at the point guard position. Maybe not quite best of the best at the PG spot, but in that second tier. Very good card. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what D-Wade can do. All right, good board here. Let's get into D-Wade's hands. Let's run some offense. Not the best opponent squad, to be honest, in today's video. Uh, so, should be, I would hope, a decently easy matchup. Although, I will say, despite Drew Holiday only being a diamond, he's still really good defensively. Still, um, obviously can be a very impactful defensive card in a lot of ways. I'm just going to take the assist to Odom. Plus, I'm a little worried he's going to get a three seconds if I wait too long. So, I'm just going to take that assist. Easy layup there. We take a 5 nothing lead. Not a hard start to this game either. I got a three before I was even commentating as well with Ron Artest. So, not a challenging start to this game at all, I wouldn't say. But let's go through this screen. Play underneath. Clay the slip. He has no space. This dude needs to put a freelance on. But he doesn't have a freelance on, which means his spacing is going to suck. So, when I play somebody like this who doesn't know what they're doing spacing-wise, that's generally a good sign that we should come out with a pretty easy win. But you know what? And when they come out and hit whites as well, there you go. Same type of thing. Uh, also kind of annoying, but he's going to try to blitz me. I just got to cross it back over. I do exactly that. Now we come back to the right. I kind of mess up my drill move, but still. Oh my gosh, Dwayne Wade. Nice stick dunk. I was a little worried that was going to be a small green motor, but apparently not. Dwayne Wade doing his thing on defense. Very impressive. Good wall up as well by Lamar Odom. We're going to run the floor again. Dish it down. Corner, catch, shoot D. Wade. Open three ball green, light, easy money. Now, the release, like I said, it does feel as though it could be a little quicker that's going to be the biggest nitpick or the biggest problem with this d-wade and probably in all honesty the main thing that kind of keeps him out of the s tier ish at the point guard position keeps him closer to alex caruso level than he is to a Cade cunningham level in my mind although very good performance in this game and let's hop into one more game get a little more gameplay with mr wade all right got shakedown 195 is our second opponent i gotta say this team is not very good but at the end of the day, you know what? I'm not all that concerned about that. I'm here to get a little more gameplay with the Flash and hopefully a couple more highlights. He had a good start in that first game, honestly. Felt like he felt very impressive offensively and very athletic as well as the release feeling pretty solid as well. Stop, pop, D-Wade from the mid-range. That's an open three ball and it's knocked down. I wish he had his old like base 98 absolutely cash, super fast release because he would be such a dog as like a three hunter, versatile, fun offensive card. But unfortunately, I don't think he's quite there. 
there just because of the lack of um, the lack of like an incredible release. But at the same time, um, very solid looking card so far. Definitely like it when I'm seeing for sure. Um, I get plucked by CPU Allen Iverson, bro. That's nuts. Uh, is that my ball? I hope that's my ball. It doesn't look like they're moving down the court. All right, so that is my ball. I guess I am sellout squad. So let's see what we can do with Mr. Wade here. Uh, same side. Now we're going to burst with the tray escape. Uh, oh, I mess it up. My cigs are just not there today. I'm so sick of playing hard off ball every single game, bro. I'm I don't want to get assists. I'll get them if I have to, but I don't want to. It's annoying, but what are you going to do, I guess? Um, let's play some defense here. Play low. D-Wade goes underneath. Very good. Straight, straight up. This is fine. He's small. I want to see him get a stop here. I, I didn't. Maybe I should have jumped there. I tried to strip the drop step, and I think I was a tick late on that decision. So not great defense there. Uh, going to see if we can actually beat. There we go. Got the defender into the screen. Uh, now we have a mismatch, and it's not exactly the way that I want the mismatch. That was a horrible shot. Why did I put that up? I just got to reset the ball and space the floor and just run some offense, man. I'm sick of this off-ball defense, and especially in gameplays. It's really annoying in gameplays when you're trying to score with one specific card because it's a lot easier to beat in a non-gameplay when you're not really trying to score with a specific card. He greens a 25% with D-Book fading. Good shot, I guess, but that is fun. All right, very fun gameplay so far. Burst here. Can I just trigger a freaking tray escape? My favorite escape in the game, and I'm absolutely messing it up right now. And then he just rips me with, with CPU AI again. Second time this game, he's gotten a CPU rip with AI. Like, what a strange game so far. Getting through, trying to contest, no contest at all, and somehow we're losing this game. D-Wade's release, I think, is the thing that's going to... I think my hesitancy with the speed of his release is a big... Is, it's a big thing that kind of holds this card back. You know what I mean? Uh, I just love that this is actually a viable... Like, can you believe this is viable defense? I, I'm still baffled by it, and we're almost in Season 6. It's been like this since, like, Season 2. And I am still baffled by how horrible the defense is in this game uh, and just how ridiculously overpowered off-ball is. Um, especially in gameplays, when you're trying to score with a one specific card, like, you just can't three-hunt against an off-ball defense. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, even And sometimes when the owl goes against you, you can't even rim-run against it. I just have to pass the... I get struck again! That's the third CPU steal for freaking Allen Iverson. Like, what is going on, dog? The CPU Allen Iverson has three steals. Good defense, D-Wade. This is unbelievable, bro. I'm about to just call it a gameplay because I don't want to play this anymore. Like, what am I watching, dog? You have cre... Whoever the game developers are at 2K have somehow managed to create just one of the least fun gaming experiences of all time. And I just don't understand how. But we'll take another assist. Apparently, this is just going to be a big assist game because he just wants to come out here and off-ball and switch. But you know what? It's not exactly unique defense, but it certainly is annoying to play against. Um, help over here. That's a good mid-range pull-up. Hey, good shot, man. This dude's hit a couple of good shots with Devin Booker. I'll give him credit on that side of the court. But his defense deserves literally zero credit at all. Uh, attack downhill again here. Fat stop into the mid-range. And I get freaking contested somehow. 7% green. Good freaking shot, Dwayne Wade. That was a nice freaking shot, too. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we got more contested there than I thought we were going to initially. But it's a big shot to tie up the game, to be honest. Switch this right here. He's going to... I think we live. Yeah, look at Ron Artest, man. Freaking... God defender. Ron Artest is the best defensive card damn near in this game. Hit our pop, mismatch, D-Wade, pump fake. He's going to jump, right? Oh, wow. I made the lamp over Wimby. I thought he was going to jump. That was not a great take. We'll take that animation. Definitely favored me a little bit there. Um, and I won't complain, man. Down a minute 22 left. Can we finish this game off with a W? Um, help down here. Good rotation. Wall up. Very nice. Uh, click on and contest. And that shouldn't go in, and it doesn't. Very good. Another good board. Now we run the floor. Um, I'm actually just going to ball handle with uh, Hakeem a little bit because he can do that. And we're going to try to pop Wade open for... <sighs> I am just not... I am not loving the way that this gameplay plays, man. It is what it is. Uh, CPU Wimby again making plays. He has four CPU steals this game. I mean, your your CPU should not just play defense for you. And like they, they play defense for him. So annoying. Good rim run there. Wade gets to the rim and dunks it. And he's finally got takeover. Physicals takeover right there. Nine points and three assists. We've managed to turn this into a pretty solid Wade game, but it's definitely been an annoying gameplay to record. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, good defense here. Wall up. Watch the... That's a... Oh my gosh, what a terrible pass. Please don't let... Bro! <laughs> He just threw the ball at two elite defenders' faces, and both Odom and Akeem just, like, scoffed at the ball and acted like they didn't see it. And now I bet he makes this. I told you. <sighs> Exhausting. Exhausting sometimes this game can be to play. Like, it just... 
What are we doing? 20 seconds left. We're going to hold for last shot here. I'm going to hold for last shot and hope that freaking CPU AI doesn't decide to come up here and eat my butt. Um, pick and pop here with Lamar Odom. 10 seconds left. We'll start a second, a smidge early here. So in case I don't get off the screen, I have something to go to. Not great offense, but D Wade, the flash manages to get downhill and finish. What a play by Dwayne Wade. I messed up my escape there. And you know what? Dwayne Wade low-key saved me. We can test here. Good defense and we win the game. Let's freaking go. Dwayne Wade, man, managed to redeem himself. Turn this into a really good game. 11 points, 3 assists, 1 steal, 5 of 6, 1 on 1 from 3. Very good performance by Dwayne Wade. No doubt whatsoever. I am still annoyed about the way my opponent played, but that's okay. It's I, I've been playing a lot of off-ball today, and it's starting to get on my nerves. That's all. Uh, but at the same time, D-Wade, really good card, and... Um, I was impressed. I'm not going to lie. Very impressed by what he did in this game. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.